Many of the road users had excuses which the officials did not entertain as they said it did not hold water. And they place boards from National Road Safety Council saying that if you are tired you must sleep, you must have some rest. But yet when we reach here you say we are late. You don't know. How, how can I help you if you don't know what is your problem? Just take me to the hospital. And then take you to the hospital? Okay, yeah. just wait. I'll, I'll come take you to the hospital. Acting Commerce Regional Commander, Deputy Commissioner Ismail Basson, expressed concern with the non-compliance to curfew regulations, especially among motorists. He says if they refuse to comply, NAMPOL will enforce the law. The, exactly the problem that we have for non-compliance. Throughout, there's just no non-compliance. And that is the message that we want to send out. Let us comply to the, law, to the laws of this country. Whether we like it or not, but there are laws. And if you cannot do it by ourselves, law enforcement will do it on your behalf. And then we get to be blamed for being harsh, being with a, don't have a listening ear. Unfortunately, that is what it is. The exercise, Basson says, will run until the 13th of January. This is an exercise that will go on until the 13th of January. No movement, and I mean no movement, shall be allowed after nine. We tried since, uh, for example, 30th of uh, de uh, December. We tried, we arrest people. We keep them overnight. We do everything, but just the message don't reach the people. So, if, if that is the way that we want to have it the hard way for tonight and coming days and, and nights, nobody will be allowed to move after, after nine. If we find you, you will be facing the, the full wrath of the law. The motorists were kept overnight until 4 in the morning when curfew ends. Selima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.